Power factor correction systems help increase the quality of power by enhancing the power factor. Let us look at the key components of power factor correction systems. Power factor correction capacitors create the required current phase lead, which compensates for the phase lag in circuits with inductive load. Capacitors for power factor correction circuits must be able to sustain the high lift-off currents that occur in switching capacitors. The value of lift-off current can exceed the rated value by as much as 100 times. If the capacitors in the bank are connected in parallel, the lift-off currents become even higher, at times exceeding the rated value by 150 times. This happens because the lift-off current flows not only from the feed circuit, but from the capacitors connected in parallel as well. Today's power factor correction controllers are based on microprocessors. A microprocessor analyzes the signal from the current transformer and transmits the signal to the capacitor's bank control, connecting or disconnecting individual capacitors or the entire banks. Intelligent management of correction capacitors helps provide the most efficient load of the capacitor banks and bring to a minimum the number of switch operations which facilitates a longer bank life. An electromechanical or electronic switching device is used to switch capacitors in standard correction system or capacitors and throttles in staggered systems. In power circuit switching is done with the help of mechanical contacts or through using semiconducting devices. Electronic switching is preferable, especially when quick switching is required in dynamic correction systems. Power distribution networks often experience harmonic distortions caused by the use of modern electronic devices that create a non-linear load. Harmonics can be quite dangerous for capacitors in correction circuits, especially if such capacitors operate at a resonant frequency. When a throttle is connected to the correction capacitor in series, the series resonance frequency can be adjusted, which helps avoid its potential damage. Fuses or automatic circuit breakers can be used to protect against short circuits. It should, however, be stressed that fuses do not protect the capacitors from overload. They serve the purpose of short circuit protection only.